Hello and welcome to this uh, new video tutorial of uh, WooCommerce Marketplace USB Stripping Plugin and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the uh, WooCommerce Marketplace uh, store owner would be able to uh, implement this particular shipping method uh, uh, within his uh, Marketplace web store and how the customers can then uh, be able to place the orders and choose the uh, different uh, types of usps uh, shipping uh, methods that are available uh, for the customer's address and uh, the rest of the uh, workflow will also be shown to you and uh, basically the uh, united states uh, postal service shipping method uh, is used uh, for uh, sending out the uh, shipments to the customers and uh, it basically uh, calculates the shipping rates according to the seller's product weight the seller's origin address and the delivery location as well so let's get in and let's see how the uh, customer in the first place would be able to make use of the same and then we'll be showing you the rest of the workflow at the seller and then the marketplace admins backend panel so uh, right now I'm at the uh, login page as you can see for the uh, multimedia marketplace uh, for the WooCommerce platform by uh, Web Webcool and uh, I'll be logging into my customer account so I've just entered my name and ed name and password and I'll just tap here on the login uh, button so right now I'm logged into my customer account as you can see and I have the uh, customer account options on the left hand side uh, as you can see right now and uh, I have uh, added a few uh, products within my cart already and uh, let's uh, tap here on the view cart button and uh, you can see that there are two products that's the uh, beanie and the hoodie with zipper and uh, the cart total is uh, $63 and uh, here uh, the customers can find the uh, available shipping methods so right now you can see within the view cart option uh, we also can see the uh, cart total along with the shipping that is available and uh, here you can see that uh, we have the different uh, methods uh, provided by the uh, USPS like the priority mail express one day uh, priority mail express one day hold for pickup and uh, the rest of the ones as well like the library mail parcel as well so uh, as a customer let me select one of uh, these uh, options that are provided by the uh, USPS and then we'll be tapping here on the uh, proceed to checkout button now the same is also uh, visible uh, even if you're not going to the cart and directly go going to the checkout page as you can see right now even here you'll be able to uh, uh, see the shipping and you can choose your shipping here as well but we had already uh, selected it within the cart itself so it's auto selected right now that's the library mail parcel for uh, five dollars and uh, 32 cents there now uh, we just proceed further by choosing our payment method and then place the order using the chosen shipping uh, method that's the library mail parcel so this method would be used to send out the uh, order to our place so i'll just tap here on the place order button and the order has been placed and uh, the order number is 92 and total is 68 dollars 32 cents the uh, payment method is uh, cash and delivery and uh, let's see the order details now and uh, here you can see the shipping amount that's uh, five dollars 32 cents and the uh, and the uh, shipping method is uh, library mail parcel now uh, this is uh, basically the flow of the customers how they can easily select any of the provided uh, carriers or the USPS uh, shipping methods for uh, basically uh, getting their products delivered to their houses and uh, now let's uh, go to the ad, uh, let's go to the windows and let's see what different configurations are there for the uh, marketplace USPS shipping uh, system itself and then we'll be seeing how the admin can make the initial uh, configurations as well so uh, before that uh, let's go to my account and uh, actually the same is visible there as well so if i go to the orders and check my order number 92 and tap here on the view button i'll be able to see the shipping method along with the amount of the shipping so that's the five dollars 32 cents with the library mail parcel itself now let me log out of my customer account 
and I'll be logging into my uh, Wendy account now so uh, for that I'll just use my username password for my uh, Wendy account tap here on the login button and uh, we'll be logged into our dashboard right now as you can see and on the left hand side we have the marketplace account options now uh, here uh, you can see that we have this marketplace USB uh, shipping option for the vendor so I'll just tap on that and that brings up the uh, marketplace USB shipping configuration for the vendors itself and uh, it would let you or it lets uh, the vendors to define a standard rate per item or uh, per order according to the customer selected zone so uh, to enable or disable this particular functionality for your products uh, you can choose uh, this uh, you can check this option otherwise to disable the marketplace USB shipping uh, you can uncheck this you can then select the USPS domestic services uh, and you can add them up by just tapping here anywhere and choosing it from the uh, particular list that you have for example if I choose USPS retail ground that would also be added to the domestic services and similarly after selecting your USPS domestic services you can also choose the USPS international services by just tapping here in the box and choosing your uh, particular uh, international services as well so for example if I choose small flat rate envelope it would be added you can also remove any of the added uh, domestic or the international uh, services by just tapping here on the X button for that particular uh, domestic or the international service and thereafter you just need to tap here on the save button and that would uh, basically configure your USPS shipping configuration uh, for the marketplace vendors and before we proceed further let me show you how you can create a USPS shipping account so uh, you'll be able to navigate through uh, this particular link that we added within the user guide and uh, the guide is uh, user guide is attached to all within uh, the description section below and within that you can navigate to the section that's how to create USPS shipping account let's start here on this particular link for the USPS shipping and uh, after you've created an account uh, the user would be receiving an email with all the details like the user ID password link to the USPS test server and much more so this is the page where you'll have to register for the USPS web tools as you can see and uh, after filling the details you just need to tap on the submit button and you'll be able to see a confirmation confirmation uh, message uh, thereafter as you can see right now and uh, after you receive an email you'll have all of the credentials to access the USPS server uh, as you can see here so here you can see that the username is password is uh, and the rest of the URLs as well so that's how you can create an USPS account first and basically uh, the user and the password uh, are required by the multi vendor marketplace uh, of, for the WooCommerce web store owner himself so uh, now so now let's uh, go to the admin backend panel and let's see what different options are there for the admin uh, to make the initial configuration settings for this particular plugin so I'll just log out of my uh, window account and uh, so here I'm at the back end of my uh, multimedia marketplace uh, web store uh, for the uh, WooCommerce platform. So I'll be entering my admin username and password and then tapping here on the login button for my multimedia marketplace web store. And uh, after I've logged in, I uh, will be navigating through WooCommerce and then settings. And uh, on the settings section, we have a number of uh, tabs here. So we'll be navigating to shipping and uh, here we have the uh, okay I just uh, and I'll just tap here on the uh, marketplace USB shipping as you can see right now so I'll just tap that up and that will bring up the configuration for the shipping itself and if I scroll down here we have the option uh, to uh, define a standard rate uh, per item or uh, order according to the customers uh, selected zone so to enable this uh, shipping method you'll need to check this uh, particular box and uncheck to disable it then you can set up your USPS username your USPS password so I've already shown you how you can do that and uh, sandbox of the live password uh, can be entered by the admin to authenticate 
and the same goes uh, for the uh, USPS username the test credentials are for test and for live you can use the production uh, username and the password thereafter you can select the USPS domestic and the international services that you want to enable uh, for your web store and uh, I've already shown you you just need to tap and then select the particular one so for example if we choose padded flat rate envelope it would uh, get edited here you can remove it as well by tapping on the uh, X button to add the more you can just scroll from the services media mail like that and uh, you can also uh, set it as uh, what we so if you choose this uh, machinable uh, as a uh, yes uh, then this uh, particular uh, parcel would be processed by the postal services otherwise you can choose no to uh, disable that particular option then you can choose the uh, container size and from here you'll be able to set your package container size basically so whether it's a regular one or a large one and thereafter you just need to tap here on the uh, save changes button so uh, that was much about the uh, WooCommerce Multimedia Marketplace USPS uh, shipping plugin and I hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same and uh, if you have any questions queries suggestions or requirements then you can always get back to us at sport at the rate of webquill.com or you may raise the ticket at webquill.uvs.com thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead